Brazilian tea culture has its origins in the infused beverages, or chás Portuguese pronunciation, as, made by the indigenous cultures of the Amazon region and the Rio de la Plata basin. It has evolved since the Portuguese colonial period to include imported varieties and tea drinking customs. There is a popular belief in Brazil that Brazilians, especially the urban ones, have a greater taste for using sugar in teas than in other cultures, being unused to unsweetened drinks. Yerba mate A popular caffeinated infusion is made, made from the leaves of the native yerba mate plant. In Brazil, the plant is called erva mate or simply mate, and the hot beverage drunk from a calabash gourd is called chimerao, typically associated with the southernmost state, Rio Grande do Sul. Mate is a popular beverage in other South American countries as well, especially around the people that lives in the southern region, which comprises the named gaucho culture, or the culture from the pampas. Argentina, Paraguay, and Uruguay. Especially in the Paraguayan and in a few parts of the northern Argentinian border, the mate is also drunk infused in cold water along the daytime, and receives the name of teriri. As in other South American countries, mate is traditionally drunk from a hollow gourd using a silver straw, a tradition that continues from indigenous cultures who introduced mate to colonists, though in other parts of the country, processed mate is drunk iced, as a non-carbonated soft drink. <laughs> Common modern varieties True teas such as black tea are popular in Brazil, either hot or iced. Brazilians also have their own local modern variations of flavored and herbal teas. Lemongrass teas are popular. Lemongrass is a plant imported from Southeast Asia, which grows well in Brazil's climate. Lemongrass is called Capim Santo, Capim Lamau or Capim Ciderera. It is generally consumed in herbal teas and health drinks, which is its primary culinary use in Brazil. Like many infusions in Brazil, lemongrass beverages are considered more medicinal than culinary. One iced drink made of lemongrass and pineapple peelings is called cha de abacaxi com capim santo. Alongside lemongrass and mate, infusions from plants cultivated domestically or in local little properties usually served as everyday drinks are Melissa officinalis, the lemon balm, they're known as erva ciderera or citronella, mentha, the mint, they're known as hortella. IPA, o, te, L. Though juices are much more popular, tea is usually made from processed dried mint in the market, Kylinga odorata, in the genus of the plants known as spikesedges, they're known as Capum ciderera, Phoniculum vulgar, the fennel, they're known as Erva doce or Funcho, Pimpinella anisum, the anise, they're known as Erva doce or rarely anise, Elysium verum, the Chinese star anise, they're known as Anise estrelado, Aloysia citradora, the South American lemon verbena, they're known as Lucia lima, among some other American, European and Asian plants. Examples of plants commonly cultivated domestically in Brazil for medicinal uses are Pumus boldus, the boldo, they're known as boldo do chile, Plectranthus barbatus, the Indian coleus, they're known as boldo de jargim or boldo da terra, plantago major, the greater plantain, they're known as tanchigem, vernonia condensata, they're known as boldo biano, vernonia polysphera, they're known as ossa peaks, quinopodium ambrosioides, they're known as erva de santa maria, dysphania ambrosioides, the epizote, also known in Brazil as Erva de Santa Maria, Baccarus trimera, they're known as Carqueja, Matinus illicifolia, they're known as Espanera santa, Romnus persiana, the Cascara buckthorn, they're known as Cascara sagrada, Echinodorus grandiflorus, they're known as Chapeu de Coro, Incaria tomentosa, the Cat's claw, they're known as Unha de Gato, Mimosa tenuiflora, the Tepisco wheat, they're known as Jerima preta, among others. Indigenous teas There are many indigenous herbs consumed as herbal teas in Brazil, which often have traditional medicinal uses. Some varieties are consumed as part of native religious rituals. <inaudible> Mint tea Mint tea, an infusion made from the brewed leaves of the plant Hyptis crenata, has been used by traditional healers to cure headaches, fevers and flu. Graciela Rocha, in research conducted for Newcastle University, found the drink to be as effective as a synthetic aspirin-style drug, endomedicine. 
Rocha, who is Brazilian and remembers being given the tea as a cure for every childhood illness, said, the taste isn't what most people here in the UK would recognise as a mint. In fact it tastes more like sage which is another member of the mint family. Ayahuasca Ayahuasca, which means, vine of souls, in an Quechua language, has a history going back to ancient times. It is a traditional drink used in spiritual and healing rituals. The drink is used in the religions of Santo Dame and Uniao do Vegetal. It has purgative, nauseating and hallucinogenic properties. Due to its hallucinogenic effects, its legal status in Brazil has met with controversy from authorities outside Brazil. The active ingredient that produces hallucinations, DMT, is considered a Class A drug the same label given to heroin and cocaine by the US and the UK. However, in 2010 Brazil's national anti-drug body approved the consumption of the drink for religious rituals after decades of studies and talks with religious institutions. History During the colonial era, imported tea varieties were first cultivated in Brazil in 1812. Throughout the 19th century, the tea industry, much like the coffee industry, was heavily dependent on slave labor to work on the plantations. When slavery was abolished in 1888, the tea trade collapsed. In the 1920s, the tea industry was revived by Japanese immigrants, who introduced tea seeds from Sri Lanka and India. Prior to this time, only Chinese tea varieties had been grown in Brazil. Brazil's largest tea producing region is near Registro, a coastal city near Sao Paulo. Registro is in the Brazilian highlands and forms a terrain of low rolling hills that are ideal for mechanized tea production. The growing season in Brazil is from September to April, the climate is hot and humid. The relatively low altitude of most of Brazil's tea plantations, however, produces a tea which is less flavorful than high altitude teas. For this reason, Brazilian teas are most often produced for blending. The tea is used for both iced tea and hot tea blends with about 70% of the total tea production being sold to the United States. See also Tea Mate Beverage Traditional medicine Health effects of tea